Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I have done a little bit of off-air stuff. It was mainly just from where we were with the Children Liberation to here. Um, I picked up a few things. It was a couple of chests. Some of the... I think one of the Helix glitches. And I think one of the illustrations. That's all I've done. But I figured y'all wouldn't want to see me go back and forth. So we're playing more Assassin's Creed Syndicate, by the way. If you didn't realize what we're doing. Mr. Fry, I trust that you had a productive meeting with Mr. Owen. Oh, yes. We had the most wonderful chat. I found out the man behind Starek's soothing syrup is John Elliotson. Dr. Elliotson, I haven't heard that name in a long while. He was a brilliant heart specialist until he became obsessed with phrenology and mesmerism. It ruined his career. Well, how shall we proceed? Oh, with all respect, Mr. Darwin, I believe I should proceed alone. After all, we wouldn't want to attract any unwanted attention. Sounds very wise. Good luck, my boy. Oh, and uh, Mr. Fry, should you find yourself with any free time, please do call on me. <laughs> head on in. Once again, um, because this seems more like a um, stealthy kind of mission, I'm not the most concerned with I'm supposed to be down there. Oh, huh. We got skill points. So a health segment. Let's do one stealth because we're in the stealth part. Melee all stuff. All melee. We'll do the range melee. And we'll do counter boost. Okay. Where would I find the doctor? We're going to try to be as stealthy as possible. That's... Okay, at least we hit the vantage point. Cool, cool, cool. Uh. 
As you've just witnessed, the application of too much pressure can sometimes result in unexpected outcomes. Unfortunately, it appears I've ruined the organ. Send up a cadaver. At once, Dr. Lidson. I don't care about your ethics, and I care even less about your damn patience. Now hand over your keys. What are you doing? Haven't you heard? You're fired. Now bugger off. We are gonna try. to do it. I think we need to get the key. Let this guy go past and we're gonna kill him. on let me move this body Oh, okay, we already did that. What's the matter? Young man, help. I must speak with Miss Nightingale at once. One of the brutes stole my key, and there's no one around. I can't get out of here. Stole your key? Don't go anywhere. I might be able to do something. Oh, quite.
Okay, now let's find... Over here. Not that. Okay. Trying to do this with all the unique options. Here we go. Let me lower them this way. We have plenty of dead bodies. there but that's okay Oh well. I need to figure out how to get
usually I wouldn't care about doing the extra like things, but I really want to try them. I saw that staircase somewhere. Thinking that's maybe where I need to go. Here it is. Maybe. Now that's a way out. Oh, it's probably down this way. I've, I've never done this one, so I really am interested to do this one. I'm just very interested. Game better not have crashed. Him. Here it is, Doctor. We will continue our experiment shortly. In the moment, we will compare the brains of our two specimens. Since both specimens had a propensity to time this. violent behavior, we should see similar protrusions in specific parts of their brains. Corpses do not have boots. Probably supposed to have done that earlier, but I was hoping he would, like, lift it up or something. And there's a... Ah! It ends. Yet I can only... Think of beginnings, a better tomorrow, forged with the blood of visionaries. All I see is the blood of a lunatic. <laughs> Do you truly believe murdering an old man will stop humanity's great architect? Crawford's Starrick has a glorious design for mankind. Design is meant to be broken. Now you're a child. A child who believes it can solve all the world's woes with a flick of a blade. Have you ever pondered the consequences of your actions, Jacob Fry? Or did your father teach you nothing? I don't 
understand the symbolism behind wiping whoever you kill's blood? Or is it just like notable people? Like, I, I, I don't know. I'm just curious about that. It did open a front door somewhere. Wasn't on this end. Other way. Yeah, we're just gonna go out the front door. Or not. Where's the f Where the hell am I going? I wanna make a cool exit. Okay, I think I gotta go through this door. What a cool end exit. This place is just stupid big. I should make a cool exit, that's all. Back again, Jacob. Glad to see you. Can't help it. Wanna make a cool exit. There we go. <laughs> I did a stupid. Still mad about that. Still am. Where are we gonna go from here? I'm actually, honestly, we're gonna go not to the Thames because it's gonna stop us. And soothing syrup production has ceased. Outrageous! Fry intends to endanger all of London at the hands of the mob. Or perhaps he doesn't intend much of anything at all. Thank but you. simply content to dice with our lives. The asylum is shut up. Medical care throughout the city is in disarray. He does not, cannot understand the consequences of his actions. The man is clearly an anarchist. Gentlemen. This tea was brought to me from India. By a ship. Then up from the harbor to a factory. Where it was packaged and ferried by carriage to my door. Unpacked in the larder and brought upstairs to me. All by men and women who work for me. Who are indebted to me. Crawford Starrick. For their jobs, their time, the very lives they lead. They will work in my factories and so too shall their children. And you come to me with talk of this Jacob Fry. This insignificant blemish who calls himself assassin. You disrespect the very city that works day and night so that we may drink this. This miracle, this tea. I'm nearing the end of my research. Our beloved London shall not suffer such a bothersome fool for much longer. Walk. And what of this sister I've heard of? Miss Fry. Miss Fry shall be gutted. Soon enough. Delicious. Sorry to interrupt, Initiate. Thought you'd like to know that Sean and Rebecca got away from Otzoberg. Berg runs a unit called Sigma Team. Violet DaCosta is his tech support. They've been hunting and killing assassins for a long time. Thank God you're all right. Oh, tish tosh. It'll take more than a Templar super soldier to end the glorious saga of Sean Danger Hastings. I was talking to Rebecca. Right. Anyway, Berg's presence confirms it. The Peace of Eden is in London. The Initiate's data sync suggests it's the Shroud. The Templars seem to want it pretty bad all of a sudden. 
They must know something we don't. The only thing we know is that we can't go up against Sigma Team alone. Leave that to me. In the meantime, keep a low profile. Let the Initiate continue to sync the data. Okay, so we should be ending the sequence pretty- not the sequence, like the memory sequence, but this memory strand, which is, I think, gonna end with Lucy Thorne's death. But we are gonna still- I wasn't expecting this stuff, this whole part to take as long, but I really wanted the unique death. I usually don't see them because I usually don't do them, but yeah. Okay, so apparently, sequence four is done. I thought Lucy Thorne was at the end of it. We're not going to do number eight, but we're going to go into sequence five. Go ahead and do it. We have a little bit of time. At the very least, it will get us through some cutscenes. Winning the railway wasn't enough. Now Starrick has bought an omnibus company as well. I suppose he wants to control the neighborhood's workers and keep them under his thumb. Pearl Attaway is Starrick's competitor, is she? Perhaps it's time I went into business. And Miss Fry. What are your plans? I studied the history we recovered from the Kenway Mansion's hidden room. I'm off to a certain monument. Except we're not going to do any of that. First of all, you're going to let me switch to Eevee. Oh, okay, it's going to show me everything that I need to do. I think this... You can kind of tell who all is what. We're not going to do any of those right now. Because where are we at? I'll figure out where we're at in a second. Ooh. Let's do first strike. But we're five now! Look at that! Okay. Let's get our income while we're here. We'll deal with Nigel in the next episode. We're gonna jump off the train real quick. Now, where are we? Okay, we're in London. We're gonna hit this viewpoint, and then in the next episode, we'll hit that. But first, we switch to Eevee. Because I like Eevee. We're gonna do the driving. I don't like driving, but we need it. And we're also level 5. Like, the stuff like this, I'm not going to really worry about Jacob because I'm not going to use him. My turn. But yeah, I hope you guys are really enjoying this. I love Assassin's Creed. I, I don't know what it is, but I really love like the open world of it. Like, I honestly, like, I, I don't, I kind of count this a little bit as an RPG. It's not necessarily as, you know, insane as some out there, but I still kind of consider it one. Hold on. What the heck is this, like, glowing beam? Oh, I think this is the, um, fault. Memory serves. Remember how I said there was a vault and I tried getting it earlier and then we didn't have it? It was because we didn't have any of the relics. That's what it was. Oh no, this game better not crash on me. I have nothing running but the game. How is it gonna, like... Why is it Lag City? Or 
We're gonna try to do this real quick. Yeah, now it's open. Basically, okay, I'll explain it, I think. Maybe. I don't remember. My God, this is Michelle Rouge's vault. <gasps> Michael Rouge's vault? It can't be. You have no idea who that is, do you? I'm the foggiest. He was an assassin. Father had one of his books. Legend says he found some fabulous treasure near Bath that drove him mad. He locked it away beneath London, in a vault that could only be opened by a set of special musical boxes. Special musical boxes? Now who's mad? So now we have all of these secrets. Um, there is a map that you can buy. Um, where is it? This one you can buy. The glitch tracker and the secrets of London. This is why I really look for helixes. Because it's going to be so helpful. Otherwise, I'm going to be a complete dumbass. Because it's one of those things you don't... Really, like... You can't really search for it. It just kind of... Pops up. Is that all the ones we have? Okay. So we'll come down here. Not whenever we find one. Okay, there's only one way out. But more probably whenever we get a few of them. So no p unless we're in the air. If we have one and we're in the area, probably come down and bring it, but... It's not going to be something that is like, oh, I found one. Let me go all the way back. But actually, instead of hitting that viewpoint, we're going to end it here. Um, in the next episode, we'll carry on. Um, let, me, let me get this helix glitch. I don't know how much Helix glitches are. I don't know if it's on on its saving. We're just gonna keep running towards this direction. There we go. Thought I had Helix credits. Oh, I think it's something. I can't remember with Helix Helix credits. Um, I will let you know how exactly to get them, but I'll look it up between now and the next episode. We're going to do, I think this one, we'll do friendly competition. Okay, I'll see you guys in that episode. See you guys next time. Bye.